Uh, first, uh, this is something we were not aware of or involved in. Um, it's very hard to speculate, and I've learned uh, over many years never to speculate on the, the impact one event may have on, on something else. Uh, so uh, I can't tell you what this means. I can tell you that the imperative of getting a ceasefire, the importance that that has for everyone remains. Uh, and we will continue to labor that uh, for as long as it takes to get there. It's vitally important to uh, help end the suffering of Palestinians uh, in Gaza. It's vitally important to getting the hostages home, including uh, a number of Americans. It's vitally important to hopefully putting things on a better path um, for more enduring peace, for more enduring security. So uh, that focus uh, remains from day one. Uh, since October 7th, the horrific attack uh, on Israel uh, and on its uh, men, women, and children. Um, one of the things that we've been focused on is trying to make sure that the conflict that uh, emerged in Gaza doesn't spread, doesn't go to other places, doesn't escalate. And we're going to continue to do that uh, as well. Now, again, the best way to bring temperature down everywhere and to put us on a better path is through a ceasefire in Gaza. That, help, that will have, I think, important um, effects on other areas where you could see conflict, whether it's in the north of Israel and, and Lebanon, whether it's Iran, uh, whether it's in the Red Sea uh, with the Houthis. Uh, so that's why that, the focus on the ceasefire needs to remain, and for us, it will very much uh, remain on that.